Hey there guys, welcome to your Football Manager channel, I'm FM Pepe and this is the team preview where we're going to have a look at Tottenham Hotspur so if you play Tottenham as a save this might be helpful to you we've got Lloris in goal, Aurier, Alderweireld, Vertonghen, Davis Lo Celso, Sissoko, Lucas Moira, Deli, Son and Kane uh, nominated as their starting eleven. Uh, Troy Parrott is a hot prospect and Harry Kane's the top earner and Hugo Lloris is your captain. Now you got Gedson Fernandez on loan uh, from Benfica which is pretty good. Now the only thing they really require of you is that you develop players using the club's youth system. Everything else really is desired to sign English players um, don't sign players over the age of 30, play attacking football, etc. Um, maintain self-sustainability, Daniel Levy is your chairman. Uh, and work within the wage budget. Now, they do have um, the Premier League uh, European Champions Cup they want to qualify for, which is top four. Uh, Semi-finals of the FA Cup, quarter-finals of the Champions Cup. Uh, which is Europe and the Carabao Cup is not important to them okay I've been having a little look at Tottenham's under 18s for you and Keon Atete a young striker I think I think they got him from Notts County um, let me just have a little check yeah they did he played four games for Notts County in League 2 um, but there's no players really in the under 18s that are ready right now. Um, however, uh, you've got a few players here who could become good players over time. Um, Cooper and Craig could become better than Sissoko. Tete could become better than Moira. Uh, Gezu could be as good as Danny Rose. Um, Lusala could be as good as Serge Aurier and Terrell Whitaker could become as good as Lucas Moyer as well but right now uh, doubtful they're going to take some time um, and you're going to need to really improve uh, your coaching staff so I don't think that's really doable right now however under 23s let's have a little look see here you got Oliver Skip who I would think would be a great addition to the senior side. I would definitely bring him in. Um, you've got a young goalkeeper, Alfie Whiteman, who needs a bit of time, so I would loan him out. Um, other than that, there's Dennis uh, Serkin, who's a left-back. He could develop. He looks promising. Um, I'd still keep him in the under-23s for a while. And yeah, there's no one really other than Oliver Skip that's ready. So with that being said, uh, oh, hang on, Maurizio Pochettino, the young Argentine right winger. Um, obviously Pochettino's son. wonder how Mourinho likes working with him. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Malachi Walcott, by the way, will probably be a really good central defender in the future. Um, so, here we go. Let's have a little look. you got three good keepers there in Luis, Vorm and Gazaniga. Well, Luis is good. The other two are, you know, cover. Um, <laughs> let's have a little look at um, Jaffet Tangana. Six foot one, central defender. He's... Looking pretty quick, decent, one fight, he looks like he's developing, I've seen him play at Rochdale one fight, he got bullied um, in the first game, in the second game he did alright, um, Toby Alderweireld, he's a good player, Davinson Sanchez I've seen play for Ajax, he is really good, very very quick, um, Jan Vertonghen, uh, Serge Aurier, Eric Dyer, who I think is a defensive mid rather than centre back, so you've got some decent defenders here. Ben Davis is your left back. Um, but you do need um, to give Ryan Sessegnon a few games to develop him as well. Because he's defending here. 
Look at it, it's terrible. Ma uh, tackling nine, marking nine. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I I'm sure he started as a left back. Um, maybe even one number three for Fulham. But I, I would probably develop him as a left winger, to be honest, and get him to forget about that left back role. Um, I don't think he's going to be a left back. Uh, I think he'll be a hard working left midfielder for you. Um, midfield wise, you got Winks, Skip, Ndombele, Lo Celso, Fernandez, uh, Sissoko. Um, really good, good options there. Half a dozen players to choose from. On the right wing, you've got Lucas Moira and Bergvine. On the left, you can play Son and uh, maybe Lamella, or you can play Lamella on the right as well. Strikers, you got Parrot and Kane. Um, and you've got Deli Alley in the number 10 role. Now, here's... And Ryan Sessegnon could probably play on the left as well. As an understudy to Son. Um, Eric Lamella. There you go. Right winger. Um, Moira. Right midfielder. Um, Bergvine. Left midfielder. See, so maybe play Bergvine on the left. So Bergvine and Son. Okay. Let's try and put a team together and have a look where we think the weakness will be. So, Luis, you got Luis, I think you'd play in goal. Your right back, I think you'd have Serge Aurier. Um, your centre backs, um, I think Alderweireld. And it's a toss up between Vertonghen and Sanchez for me. Um, because what Alderweireld's all right with his physicals, but Jan Vertonghen is slowing down a little bit, and I think Davin San uh, Sanchez is probably a bit quicker. So I would I would actually play Sanchez there, um, and I would put Vertonghen on the bench because he could also give you a cover at centre half and left back. Um, one fight, I'd probably put on the bench as well because he could give you cover. At right back and centre back. Uh, Vorm I would put on the bench. Um, let's have a look. Left back. Um, it's got to be Ben Davis hasn't it. It's only really one left back. There we go. Um, ben Davis injured four to six week. Aurier three to six week. Ouch. Uh, well they'll, re they'll recover. <laughs> Um, there you got Endombele there, who I think is a very good player. Um, I'd definitely have him as one of your centre mids. Then you got Harry Winks and Eric Dyer. I think um, you got Lacelso there as well, who wants to be like a number ten. Hmm. You got Gedson Fernandez. Uh, he wants to be a central midfielder, and he's injured. Two or three months, so we'll leave him alone. Sissoko. Sissoko and Endombele are probably the partnership right there. On the right, you got Moira. Um, and I think Lamella is his understudy. On the left... I would put Son. Um, Kane obviously goes up front. Practically picks himself. Um, and Deli Ali. I'd probably drop into that number 10 role right there. Um, yeah. Then for the rest of the team. I think you probably have Dyer on the bench as well. As Vertonghen and Foyt. Um, you'd have Lo Celso. Bergvine. And. You'd either have Parrot. Or. Lamella. I'd probably. Probably go with Lamella. Oof. That's quite tricky actually. Um, but that I think is probably. The best team out of all of them. Uh, you got a sweeper keeper in Lloris. You've got a right wing back in Aurier. 
Um, ball playing defender, he defends an older year old. Sanchez is also a ball. I just want to be a stopper or defend defending. Ball playing defender, he defends. Um, ben Davis wants to be a wing back who defends as well. So you've got a really solid defence there with Lloris, Aurier, Alderweireld, Sanchez and Davis. Um, and Dombele wants to be deep line playmaker. And he wants to support. Uh, Sissoko, box to box midfielder who supports. And Deli Alli wants to be an advanced playmaker who supports. Moira, he wants to be a winger who supports. Um, there we go. Son wants to be left midfielder, inverted winger who supports. And then you've got Harry Kane wants to be a deep line play, uh, deep line forward who supports as well. Hmm. There's no one attacking there, is there? It's all supporting. The only attacking-minded player is Lloris. So it looks like a very counter-attacking team. Um, I think where the weakness is for Tottenham is they do need a striker. Let's go have a little look at the finances. They've got £15 million in the budget. Um, they've got £100 grand to spend. Uh, in fact, £200 grand to spend on wages. So, it's not bad. Um, we could alter that and give us a little bit more cash. Um, let's do that. So, we got 22.35 million. Um, and where I think they're weak, I think with Tangana and Sessignon, you got two young fullbacks. Uh, and Tangana could be sent back for the cup games. Um, I think Vertonghen and Foyt would cover those full-back positions as well as centre-half positions. Oliver Skip and Harry Winks and Gedson Fernandez I think cover your midfield. I don't think you need a midfield or goalkeepers. Um, you probably do like a utility defender who can play across the back. Um, and I don't think you need any wingers. You got Bergvine, Son, Moira, Lamella. Um, you got Lacelso there as cover for Deli Alley in number ten role. So I would say it's a striker and like a utility um, midfield uh, defender. You know, kind of like a steady Eddie, like a a Jamie Carragher that can play left back, right back, centre back. Okay, um, you're not gonna get Andrew Robertson. Right, they're all ridiculously priced players. So here's what I would do. You go into a new search. We're gonna look at strikers. Um, we're going to look at somebody 31, I think, would be the oldest. Um, transfer st status. Let's have a look who's listed first. Um, okay, and how much they're going to be listed for. So you got Andre Gray right there. Um, who's this guy? Lucas. Target man. Okay. Andre Gray. All right, um, Molly Watkins, nope. Rudiger Stead, Dominic Samuel. Mm. Andre Gray. Okay, so I've used a little bit of magic here from my little scouting system, and Yasin Fortune has shown up. Um, as a striker from Sion in Switzerland. He's a 20-year-old French player. And 
he's got a four million pound fee with eight hundred thousand in uh over three installments that's two point four million uh so it's six point four million in total and a twenty percent uh percentage uh sell on and this is the lad himself uh dribbling 14 finishing 16 long shots 13 technique 14 acceleration 16 pace 17 strength 15 his stamina jumping reach and balance and uh composure are all 13 flair 14 i think this lad's an out and out goal scorer i think he's a fast um rapid Thierry Henry style player six foot one so a long stride great technique great finishing uh loads of pace and acceleration I think he's actually somebody you know you could develop he was at Arsenal for a little while so there you go maybe they saw something in him um and as a you know somebody they paid 1.8 million for from lawns um he went to Switzerland on a free and I, I think Yassin Fortune, you know, I think he's he's somebody who's probably going to develop. And with him and Troy Parrott, I think he will have plenty of um, competition for the striker position. So let's have a look at the defender. Now, I've gone for a fullback, a left back called Jerome Roussillon. Roussillon is... Uh, a very attacking left back from Wolfsburg and 10 million pound is the cheapest I can get him for um, so it's valued at 9.25 million uh, as you can see here his tackling's 15 marking 12 long throws 14 crossing 14 dribbling 13 so he's gonna be really good down at left wing back role uh, work rate 16 uh, and he's a wing back that supports rather than defends like Ben Davis. Um, strength 14, stamina, determination, off the ball work, and acceleration are 15. And his balance and pace are 17. Now he is a very, very good attacking left back. And one of the things I think he can do once Rasulon signs, firstly put him straight in the team ahead of Ben Davis. But it allows you to play um, Vertonghen at centre half rather than at left back, you know, covering at left back. So you'll actually have Foy, Alderweireld, Sanchez, and Vertonghen for that centre half role, and Tangana. So there we have it. They're the signings that I would make. Um, Jerome Rousselion, the left back, would come in in place of Ben Davis think he'd be a fantastic addition and Yassin Fortune would come in on the bench to be an explosive kind of striker um, he's uh, six foot one as well you know he's gonna uh, he's only 20 years old so he'll give Harry Kane um, you know a bit of good cover uh, he's not gonna take his place but I think Rissoulon will come in and add quality into that team straight away Sanchez will um, not Vertonghen out of the team and improve with pace um, I, I think this is a really really good team it would make an interesting save so you'd have Vorm and Goal uh, covering on your bench you would have Foyt covering the centre half and the right back role Ben Davis covering the left back role Eric Dyer could be an emergency centre half if you need him, but he'd be a DM or centre mid um, to replace Sissoko and Dembele. Um, Lo Celso could replace both of them two or Dali Ali. Bergvine would offer you cover for Moira and Son, and Fortune would offer you cover for Harry Kane. So that I think is a well balanced squad, just with two signings uh, Yassin Fortune and Jerome Roussillon. Uh, two French lads, um, one in Switzerland, one in Germany. I hope that helps. Uh, like I say, you'd be able to get Rousseau on for 10 million, uh, Yassin Fortune for 4 million. You stay under the transfer uh, budget and you stay under the wage budget. If that does help, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of those two players as well. 
and uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe. It's all good. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.